Welcome to a quick sort of update video on hill climbs, how they're going, the future and all the rest of it. So last weekend I had two hill climbs. The first one was a sort of rampy climb, five to six minutes. I did quite well last year on it and um, enjoyed it quite a lot. Came back this year, did about 380 watts, a bit more than that, 382 watts, five minutes. Climb was about six minutes in total, average about 380 watts, more or less. Um, which at 58 kilos is like 6.6 .6 watts per kilo or something. So not bad, quite happy about it to be honest. Um, so yeah, it was a decent day out, came third, there weren't many people there. I think 20 people signed up on the day, uh, 14 were there. So not a huge win, but not a huge result in that sense. But quite happy with my numbers and quite happy that um, I did okay considering that it was, um, it was a decent week of training. It wasn't the hardest week, but um, definitely still still tough and then the following day i had a similar climb in some ways and of lengthwise about five or six minutes long uh however it was less steep but still quite rampy and again that i did about 380 watts almost identical power um compared to the, the previous day and again finished fifth which was quite a good result actually been some people who were okay um so not bad still quite a long way off w um the guy who won only did like 6.7 but he weighs quite a lot more than me so obviously 6.7 you go quite a lot quicker than me um well, yeah, my 380 watts um, at 58 kilos, sorry, I'm just typing in, um, is a little bit less than that, about 6.5 watts per kilo, so, um, which is decent, but not absolutely bonkers. Um, so, yeah, going into this week, it's the last proper week, I guess you could say, of training before Nationals. So, obviously, Nationals is on the 31st of the, um, October. And then I also have Bucks, which is a weekend after, which is like the University Hill Climb one, which I'm pretty keen on. I really want to do well on both of them. So this week is going to be interesting to try and make sure that I get enough stress that, you know, for my taper for bucks is not too bad, but also that, you know, I'm not too knackered for nationals and also the race on the weekend. Um, so today I did a double day, just sprints in the morning, sprints in the afternoon, trying to do like minute to 40 second sprints, just depends on the segments, depends on how I'm feeling. The morning ones, I always find it really hard. I don't know why I wake up out of bed, um, I guess earlier than I normally do, and then just sort of hop on the bike couple of Leo the Lions from Audi and a monster sorts me out and then just sort of get around and see how it is. Often don't feel great, but the afternoon felt a bit better. It was raining, which is always lame. Um, uh, but yeah, still some decent numbers, but nothing absolutely bonkers. Um, tomorrow I've got my first set of 3015s. So the plan is 3015s this week, 3015s next week, 3015s the week after. Quite them as a taper effort because that can sort of gauge my fitness quite well from them because I do them quite a lot. Uh, and also they're just quite an enjoyable interview. I actually really enjoy them. Obviously some people don't. But that's just how it is and then yeah uh, probably try and do another effort on thursday so i'm going to be quite knackered for the weekend which is always a shame because they're actually quite enjoyable hill climbs but ultimately like as i set out from the beginning my goal is nationals and i'm only really using hill climbs as well i guess i do enjoy doing them like i am going to obviously have a day off the day before them but i'm not peaking for them where before i think what often people do which you know maybe is probably better is just to like take each hill climb the weekend very seriously for me obviously i take them seriously but like as in my goal is to win well not to win but to do well in nationals um so that's what i'm aiming for and then there was this weekend i've got two climbs the first one uh is like a four minute pretty fast both of them are very fast climbs this one's could be like a 30k an hour average 29k an average sort of one um, it was a similar-ish length to national, so I'll be interested to see what I can do. I'm hoping for about 420 or so, because it's, it's not super steep. 400 to 420 would be decent, um, which is about seven, seven, over 7 watts per kilo for me now, which is good. Uh, and then I think with it, you always do more, because you take before, and it's a steep climb, and you've got a crowd abusing you, so you know, you're always going to do a little bit more. Um, and then, then the following day is Burrington, which is a climb I do a lot of my efforts on. I know it really, really well. Um, and that's probably a seven to eight minute climb. Uh, so again, I sort of know what numbers I can do for that. Um, and it's a, an enjoyable one. It's sort of less intense to begin with. So you can really sell into it. And because I know the climb quite well, it's always good fun to do it. Uh, and then in terms of bike tech, so my bike weighs about 5.9 kilos at the moment, like literally 5.97 or something. So it's just sub six, which is like relatively heavy considering what I do have. But I got some like easy gains that some of them I am going to do, some of them I'm not going to do. So I ordered some new pedals. Um, which are 134 grams. They're from AliExpress. They're like fake time espressos. Um, they're really good, actually. They're going to save me 100 grams. So that'll get me to 5.87. Um, then I've got some new shoes. Actually, I think I have them here. Now, these look lame, right? Like You're like, oi, Charlie, why have you bought these shoes? Well, number one, they're 13 pounds, which is huge. But these will save the pair 200 grams on my old shoes, which is mental. Um, I might show my old shoes here. Uh, oh no, I don't think I do. Anyway, my old shoes are like just really heavy and these picking them up feels so much lighter. So 
So yeah, they do look lame, but 200 grand is 200 grand. So I'm going to um, wait until the Time Espresso pedals come, put them on, uh, try them out, make sure that my inner sole is fit and everything else and make sure I don't get any knee issues when they run up. Obviously changing shoes is not ideal in the run up just to nationals, but 200 grams is 200 grams. And generally, if I do enough rehab and sort of prehab or whatever people call it, like with my yeah, IT band, I don't really get any issues. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, and then the other thing that I've got coming, I've got also um, a lightweight expander plug, which would probably save like 20 grams, which I need to put in. Uh, apart from that, that is pretty much it. Um, there's nothing else I really want to buy. I mean, there's one, there's some brakes I could get that would save 60 grams. But the biggest thing that I haven't mentioned that I obviously won't do this year, but will do maybe in the future is my crank set. So my crank set is their uh, info crank, which is really good, right? Super accurate, all that stuff. However, it's a tank. It weighs about 800 grams. And so I was looking on the internet, obviously, and I uh, found some titanium cranks, which weigh about 450 grams. Um, oh no, yeah, 350 grams, sorry. Yeah, 350, 400 grams, something like that. And then I could get like a spider power mirror, like let's say a Segei, or could get a Rotor, or could get whatever I want, um, which maybe weighs 100 grams. And you've got cranks that's 400 grams, that's 400 grams off. So then you think I'm on 5.7, 5.8 now. And then I'd go to like 5.4 on one upgrade. That's mad. And then there's obviously some mar more marginal ones. To get it like actually sub five, I looked into it. I can save 60 grams on a cassette. So I can use an 1128 SRAM red cassette. Um, that would save me like 60 grams. And then there's also like wheels. My wheels are like 1,060 or something. So let's just approximate 1,100 grams. Obviously I could get them to like 900 grams, but that'll cost a lot of money. And then brakes, as I said, 60 grams I can save. They're 130 quid. If I have enough money, I probably will buy them next year and sell my car and brakes because net will probably be like 50 quid or something. Um, to save 60 grams, which is like, mm, good do, good do. Uh, but anyway, um, all is going well. Training's looking good. I'm, I'm excited for Nationals. I think it's going to be a really special event because it's just such a historic climb. And also, I think the crowd's going to be really rowdy. And it does sort of sue me because it is really steep. And I don't weigh very much at the moment. So that is good. And my bike is not weighing much either. So yeah, exciting times. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little update video. And we'll see you in the next one. one.